I think one can clearly say that this is in terms of future outlook. This is basically the end of a nuclear strategy internationally. Like the, the nuclear industry, of course, uh, uh, has operating reactors and there will be jobs in the nuclear industry for decades to come. Uh, because of operating facilities and, and decommissioning and dismantling facilities. But in terms of an industrial strategy for energy policy, this is pretty much the end of nuclear power. The, the United States are still the largest um, operator of nuclear power plants. There are 104 reactors operating. Um, that's almost a quarter of all reactors in the world. Uh, so it's a very major player right now, and it's providing about 20% of the U.S. electricity. However, uh, even before Fukushima, a major shift uh, was happening, and if you look at the ratio of renewable uh, energy-based uh, plants that have been added to the electricity grid, in 2004 it was only 2%. And this skyrocketed over the following years, and by 2009 it was over half, 55% of all new capacity added in the United States in 2009 were renewable energy plants. China is, is the only country in the world that is really massively, currently, massively building new nuclear power plants, 27 of 64 worldwide uh, uh, listed um, uh, plants under construction are in China. However, China builds all kinds of things, not only nuclear power plants. And interestingly enough, if you look, in 2010, uh, China spent 38 billion euros equivalent, 38 billion on renewable energy, 38 billion, and is the number one country as of 2010 in investment in renewable energy. At the end of 2010, uh, China had 4.5 times more installed capacity in wind turbines alone than nuclear power plants, 4.5 times. Which means that even if you consider that the generation by, of electricity by installed capacity, by megawatt, let's say, is lower, of course, from wind than from a megawatt of nuclear power, it's very likely that in 2011, China will generate more electricity from wind turbines than from nuclear power. Well, I believe that the decision that has been taken uh, by the German government is a decision that will reorient leadership uh, in this area uh, considerably. Uh, it, it's always interesting to look at the financial markets, how, how they react to political announcements. And, you know, as soon as the German announcement was made, uh, the stock uh, values of renewable energy companies just boosted. Um, and, you know, you have the same kind of effect reverse after Fukushima that all the nuclear stock market values uh, went down the, down the drain. So um, I do believe that we will see a competition led by the German government, by the German policy and the Japanese, not to forget the Japanese because they are not as aggr aggressively promoting a shift but there is a very profound energy policy shift in preparation in Japan.